welcome back to the channel. In this episode, which is part 26, I'm going to be priming the side rear panel and putting a second coat of primer on the front and the front wheel arches, etc. And I'm going to start by getting the entire bus all masked up. Before I spray a coat of undercoat primer over everything, I'm going to go over all the bare metal areas with some etch primer. I'm now about ready to start painting, um, put a coat of primer down over everything, um, but before I do that I want to go over everything with panel wipe and a tack cloth. primer I'm using is this uh, UPOL System 20 high build primer in grey. It's a two pack, 2k primer, so you've got the paint and the hardener. Um, I'm using this uh, Duran, Duran, whatever you want to call it, um, cheap and cheerful gun, got a 1.8 nozzle on it. I've got the air right open at the bottom but I'm running it at about 22 psi. I've got the fan um, right open and I've got the uh, fluid uh, right open, mixture right open as well. Um, I'm going to give it two coats, maybe three, 
So let's get started. Right, well it's had overnight to dry, so let's get all the masking off and have a look at how it's turned out. Okay, first job is to block sand this panel. Um, I'm going to go over it with a powder uh, guide coat first and then I'm going to block sand it with 240 grit.
all of this sanded down now, you can see that I've gone through into the uh, filler in places, um, but it feels very, very, very smooth and very flat now, which is really good. Um, it's going to get one more coat or two or three coats of primer, filler primer going back on here and I will then block sand that with 400 grit and then 800 um, and I'll do that with a DA sander um, before top coat. Um, before I do that though, and I've also got to do that to the front wheel arches um, and the front panel as well, but before I do that I want to get some white top coat on the backs of the seats just to finish them off. They're, they're never going to be seen because they're covered up anyway, but it just looks better, makes me feel better about the whole job. And I, I don't like leaving bits unpainted, so I'm going to do that next. Right, next up I want to get uh, a couple, two or three more coats of filler primer on this rear panel. Paint's now had overnight to dry, so I'm going to go over it with a DA sander and 400 grit paper, and I've got a soft pad um, backing um, to make sure that I don't go through anywhere.
Now that the 400 grit has got rid of all the orange peel and any dust and etc from the surface, I'm going to finish it with 800 grit. now. Um, as you can see my DAing skills need a bit of perfection because I have gone through to the um, etch primer in a couple of places. I've gone through the primer up there as well but I don't think that will matter. I'm just going to spray straight over that. Um, so yeah, so now I need to finish off all the other areas around here. Um, scuff them all up, um, do the sill, front wheel arches and the front panel and then we should be ready for a top coat.
Well, as you've just seen, I've got the whole bus masked off. Um, it's all been uh, gone over with panel wipe. So bef all I've got to do now is go over it with a tack cloth and then start spraying. I'm going to be painting, spraying the light blue lower colour first. So I'll be spraying it just over this uh, the middle waistline. And then when that's dry, I'll have to remask it all and then spray the top half white. Right, well the paint I'm using is this Glassurit. Um, it's a, a light blue colour, I don't, it doesn't have a name, but I've got the paint code here. And if you remember in previous episodes, it took me a couple of goes to get the right code because I didn't know whether the last but one digit was a three or an eight. Um, but that's the paint. That's the hardener, it's an air dry fast hardener. And that's the thinners. Um, I've got the technical sheet here and it's telling me that I mix it four parts paint to one part hardener to one part um, thinner. Um, I should be running the gun at between 2.2 and 2.5 bar. Uh, a 1.4 millimeter nozzle. And I spray a light coat to start with, leave it a few minutes to flash off, and then one heavy coat after that, and that's it. I've also got some of this, it's a UPOL um, blending spray, fade out solvent. I've never used it before, but apparently you um, spray a light coat, a couple of light coats over the area where you're blending the new paint and the paint that's already there and it, is, it, it melts the paint, the old paint into the new and creates a much better um, blend but we'll, we'll have to see and, and it, it, you, you don't have to do as much polishing. But as I say, never used it before, but um, I'll give that a go. And you do that straight after you finish painting, spraying. The gun I'm using is the DeVildis FLG5 with a 1.4 tip. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not an expensive gun, but it's not a cheap gun, but it's, it's, it's really nice, really nice. Um, as I say, I'll be running it about 2.2, 2.3 bar. I've got the um, fluid tip right open and I've got the fan right open. So all I need to do now before I can start painting is to go over it all with a tack cloth. Before I do the tack cloth though, I'm actually going to mix the paint up and let the paint stand for a few minutes while I'm doing the tack cloth.
as you can see, all finished. It's gone really well, really pleased with it. It's gone down really nicely, You've got a lovely shine to it. A very little orange peel. I've got a few runs, but nothing terrible. I can um, sand those out and polish them out without any problems. Um, regarding the blend or fading uh, spray, um, I did use it, didn't get it on camera, but it seems to work really well. Uh, very easy to use, really nice fine mist when you're spraying it, but I will show you the results um, later on. But yeah, really pleased with that, seems to work really well. So the next step is to get everything uh, unmasked, get all the masking off and prep it for the top half white, which is pastel white. But unfortunately, run out of time in this episode, so that's going to be in the next one. So until then, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode.